Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Antique Penguin. In this episode, I will be playing and completing the 5th PSA mission which is called Secret of the Fur. Now if you're wondering why there is already a checkmark beside the mission's name, that's because I accidentally completed the mission without getting the extra reward meaning I had to re-record and replay the entire mission again but that's alright as that means I don't need to cut that much unnecessary scenes. So anyways I first start the mission at the gadget room with Gary the gadget guy and then I check out the Forensic Analyzer 3000 to see who the pink fur belongs to by using a comb from the spy phone to insert the pink fur to the machine. By the way, the paper boat scavenger hunt is still going on as of when I recorded this video if you noticed the paper boat at the top right beside the moderation button. Crazy to believe that the paper boat scavenger hunt is still going on after nearly two weeks but hey, it's still pretty cool nonetheless. So anyways of course the pink fur belongs to a pink puffle and now Gary wants me to analyze the white fur by inserting the white fur into the machine. Oh and since this is the 50th episode of this walkthrough, that means I am now finally halfway to the 100th episode which is absolutely amazing. I honestly wonder if Antique Penguin will still be running by the time I reach that milestone as Pal Patton did mention Antique Penguin wouldn't last forever. If I was able to reach the 100th episode though, then it will obviously be a very special episode similar to my plans for my one year anniversary for this game. So anyways, it appears we were unable to identify who the white fur belongs to as it contains traces of three substances. So apparently we need to find a hot chocolate, a hot sauce, and a jetpack fuel and bring them back to Gary. Anyways you can pick up an AC-1000 at the gadget room and put it in your inventory. At the beach, you can pick up a net and put it in your inventory. At the lighthouse, you can pick up a rope and combine it with the net you just got earlier. Also you can just go straight to the beacon without talking to those scared penguins as those penguins are not that important and they'll just talk about a monster that went up to the beacon. So anyways I put my AC-1000 to the jetpack fuel so that it can come near us. And then I use the scissors from my spy phone to cut the balloon off. And then finally I put the jetpack fuel to my inventory. And then I open my map to the plaza and then went inside the pizza parlor. At the pizza parlor, there appears to be a huge hot sauce mess on the floor so I asked the green pizza chef what happened to the place. According to the green pizza chef, it looks like a really hairy mutant crab caused all of this mess. And then I asked the green pizza chef if I can take a sample of both the hot sauces and the chocolate sauces and then the green pizza chef said sure thing. So of course I grabbed a sample of both the hot sauce and the chocolate sauce and put it in my inventory. And then I talked to the green pizza chef again asking if that pizza box belongs to someone else and the green pizza chef said it is for a penguin fishing at the ski lodge. The green pizza chef then asks if I can deliver it and then I said sure as this is required to get the extra reward. So I put the pizza box at my inventory and then head into the ski lodge and then go inside the door where the ice fishing mini game is and then give the pizza box to the fishing penguin. Yeah forgetting to get the pizza box and give it to the fishing penguin before re-recording this was definitely the reason why I had to replay and re-record the entire mission all over again just so I can get the extra reward. So anyways I am now at the coffee shop talking to the barista and it appears there is a mess at the coffee shop as well just like at the pizza parlor. The barista showed me a drawing of what the monster might look like and then I talked to the barista again asking if I can get a hot chocolate. Apparently the hot chocolate machine is broken so I decided to go take a look at the machine and probably fix it. So the first thing I did to fix the machine was to grab the wrench from my spy phone and fix the pipe saying milk. The next thing I did was to pick up the cup and put it under press for hot chocolate. I then made the machine hot and then put the chocolate sauce in the hatch at the top. And then finally I press the red button saying press for hot chocolate to pour the hot chocolate to the cup so that I can put the hot chocolate cup to my inventory. After all of that, I then went back to the gadget room and put all the items in the machine and of course the items I put in the machine are the jetpack fuel, the hot sauce, and the hot chocolate. Gary's new glasses that he is wearing right now is very goofy by the way which is pretty funny. And after putting all the items at the machine, Gary will then talk to us right away. I then report to him about a bunch of penguins seeing a mutant furry crab. I then grab the goggles from the machine after talking to Gary. And then I grab a candle from one of the tables at the pizza parlor. Although looking back, 
it would have been quicker if I just got the candle at the ski lodge but oh well. You don't need to talk to the scared fishing penguin by the way. Anyways when you go back to the ice fishing place, you can see the shadow of the mutant furry crab and this music is pretty epic by the way. So to trap the monster, put the trap which is the rope and net combined on the floor with the candle in it and then you will be able to capture the crab. I bet a lot of you guys were scared of this mutant furry crab's shadow back then. I don't think I was scared but I think I was definitely scared of the puffer fish at Aqua Grabber back then which is why I rarely played that mini game back then. Anyways after capturing the crab and making the other monster run away, I grab the monster's white fur as well as the trapped crab and then come back to the gadget room to talk to Gary for the final time. I then give the crab to Gary and of course the mutant furry crab is all a fake as it's just the crab and the unknown bear combined. So after the conversation, I pick up the white fur from my inventory and insert the white fur into the Forensic Analyzer 3000 to reveal who the bear truly is. And of course since it's clean, it's officially going to reveal it. And the species of the unknown bear is, a polar bear. And it looks like they aren't native to the Club Penguin Island at all as they actually live at the North Pole which is very interesting information. Of course you guys should probably know who the crab and the polar bear is by now but I just like to keep the suspense going until they are officially revealed. And now that we are done with the mission, it is now time to get our rewards. So I already got the medal after completing the mission earlier without getting the extra reward which is a gift but that's alright as I can still show you guys what the medal looks like right now. So here is what the medal for completing the 5th PSA mission looks like which is called the Golden Investigate Medal and it honestly looks very incredible. Next and last reward I am going to be showing you guys is the extra reward I got for giving the fishing penguin his pizza box and of course our reward is a box of pizza which is absolutely incredible. The fact that you can eat every slice of pizza at this box makes this reward way better than the medal I just got. And the last thing that I will be doing before ending this episode is to show you guys the last 4 stamps I just got for completing both missions 4 and 5 just to make up for not showing you guys the stamp book last episode. Anyways that is it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please like, comment, and subscribe for more antique penguin videos. With that being said, see you guys next time.